All right, all right. We are so thrilled to be here. You know, I, I think I first, Clint, was, was on the stage, you know, six years ago uh, doing open mics here. And, uh, you know, for those of you who are at Soul Food for the first time, this is an incredibly magical place. There's really no place like it on, on the east side or really in the greater Seattle area and uh, we could not be more thrilled to be here. We're gonna do mostly uh, mostly original songs but uh, we're gonna have some covers sprinkled in there so uh, let's get started. A finer thread.
thread. <laughs> Believe it or not, that's a love song. <laughs> This next song um, is, uh, well, there's a line, I want to make sure you, you hear it, which is, Mayor Bloomberg loves Shakira's hips. I love white wine. I pause to take a tiny sip. Oops, oops, in one fell swoop. I fear I'll hear I'm clear out of time. So watch that line, okay? <laughs> We're getting some feedback. Is that me? Okay, the monitor? Positive feedback. Positive feedback, yeah, <laughs> okay. Thank you, thank you. Uh, this next song is um, sort of the anti-love song, right? <laughs> it's, uh, it, it's, I'll just tell you, it's sad. <laughs> what happens when the one you love loves someone else. Bye. 
found out. <laughs> you know, one of the, um, the great things about having a band is surrounding oneself with just unusual musical genius talent, which I have every time I play with these guys. And so, um, Tor Diedrichsen, who um, anybody in the greater Seattle Music scene knows Tor's name is is a maestro, 
Uh, and so I'm going to yield the stage to him, uh, and he's going he's gonna to do a song for you. Okay, Tara. has been staying here your mind's living for a long long time but your body's been staying here yeah all this talking i've been doing babe well there ain't nothing you can hear well there's no flowers by this river and there's no plants growing round. Yeah, there's no flowers down by this river. And there's no plants growing round. Yeah, there's no water down by this river. And there ain't nobody making sounds. Yeah, there's no water down by this river. Ain't nobody making sound. Yeah, there's no water down by this river. And there ain't nobody making sound. Except this band up here. I do 
you have a blues band, Tor Dedrickson Blues Machine, we haven't been playing too much lately, but maybe in a few months you might hear the name around. But it's great being with Paula here. Thank you. We might, yeah. We do. Okay. Well, you know, being at this place, when I first walked in, it brought back some memories for me. I don't know if uh, Clint, Clint, you're here around here somewhere? Yeah, I'm wondering about this one handmade drum you got in here, you know, that's made by a guy named Bongo Don. Did you know about that? I saw it before. I don't know where it is now, but it's a drum. It's a conga drum made totally by hand. Yeah, and I got my first Bongo Don drum around almost, almost 40 years ago. Wow. And he'd been in Cuba, like, pre-Castro Cuba. He'd been in the uh, Merchant Marines, you know. And he, made, he learned how to make drums over there, but he made them, they weren't round, they were kind of square. I don't know, it's probably around there somewhere. <laughs> when I saw that drum, I go, oh my God, that's a Bongo Don drum. His name was Don Gimble, right, from New York. Real kind of fast-talking New York guy, you know, I, yeah, the drum on the we gotta make the drum like that, you know, kind of talk that real. <laughs> anyway, when I came and saw that drum, I said, oh my God, I used to have four of those drums. And I also have two drums that he got a long time ago that he didn't make. I still have those ones, but the other ones, they all disappeared, all the Bongo John drums. So it was, it, was, it was really, I'll point it out later if, we, if I can see it, because before it was like right on the stage, last time I was here. Anyway. Okay, great. Um, so if you haven't picked it up by now, uh, Tor's our talker. <laughs> <laughs> and and the, the beauty of it is he, he keeps it going for us, so, so I'm really appreciative to her. <laughs> yeah, everything I said about that drum, I was just making it up. <laughs> no, it's actually true. I'll find the drum. I'll go to the drum. Okay, this, this, uh, this, this next song um, is, is an original, and uh, it's, um, it's, about, it's about loss. Um, don't worry, I'm going to have some happy songs too. <laughs> but uh, this one, this one is in that zone. Toll the bell. Strange, ain't it? 
Thank you. Thank you. Now, given everything I know about soul food, I think I'm, I'm a little safe in, uh, in wearing my politics a little bit on my sleeve, but um, I, um, I actually spent four months uh, volunteering for the Obama campaign. And, <laughs> and, um, and I, I actually call this song uh, the, the Obama song. Right. That's not the name of it or anything like that, but um, it, for me, it represents uh, some of why I, I, did, I did that. Um, and so uh, our next song is Peel the Charade. Sarah Jane. 
Thank you. Thank you. Picking up the mood. <laughs> um, this, uh, uh, as um, at least uh, a couple people out here know, uh, I spent some of my childhood in, in Europe. Uh, and, and the thing about growing up um, like uh, we do and we did uh, as military brats, um, you, you lose track of people. You don't have a, a hometown, really. Uh, and, and this song is, uh, it is, about, is about that. Motel 6 Serenade. Thank you, thank you. So we're gonna have Tor talk a little bit as Mark and I change instruments for the last song of this set. Yeah. Well, you know, uh, when Paula was saying she was working for four months on the Obama campaign, actually last Monday she had a, she had a big meeting with Obama, but I was watching the news that day. I've been watching the news a lot. 
And I noticed that day there was like a whole bunch of stuff going on where he was like going from this meeting to that meeting, you know, the whole thing of it. Was it fiscal farce? I think they call it, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, fiscal farce. <laughs> Could be a problem, but, you know, you just never know. But I was, I, I was looking at the, the, the news and going, how is she going to be able to be in a meeting with him? He seems like it's like the busiest day he's ever had. Because it really was that particular day. Well, he's rushing off from here to there to there. And uh, she told me she, uh, th that meeting got canceled. For now, it's it, it <laughs> it's rescheduled, I guess, for some other time soon. I think, right? <laughs> yeah, something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. But uh, <laughs> so she knows him pretty well. You know, I had a dream about him the other day too, and I did. I was like, <laughs> right here talking to him. I love to work. Yeah, yeah, it was awesome. really good. I was conscious. I don't usually <laughs> have dreams like that. I don't. I don't. But I was there talking. Man, this is pretty cool. I'm right with the guy. He was just cooler than hell. You know? <laughs> Which, of course, he is, right? I mean, you know. Mitt Romney, now, he had that. What was that song he sang? Was it? Oh, beautiful first space. This guy. Mm, God, you know. it, it's a great song. Yeah, it's a good song. <laughs> Yeah. It's a great uh, song. Nothing, nothing against you, you know, the voter for Romney. I mean, he seems mm -hmm. like a nice enough guy and all that, but God, talk about needs some yeah. singing lessons. Well, our, the, la the last song <laughs> in our set be before we, we take a, a little break uh, is, uh, is dedicated. It was, it's my song dedicated to Leonard Cohen, uh, one of the uh, most, uh, most talented, prolific, deep, uh, songwriters of our time, and uh, I actually got a chance to see him in concert a few weeks ago, and was just totally inspired once again. Uh, Lenny's in our house.
<laughs> Thank you. <laughs> We're going to take a break, and we will be back. We will be back. <laughs>